Okay, Joe, let's get serious a minute here. We've been riffing on funny atheists for a while now, and we could stand some variety. Yeah, come on. Can't we have something different for a change? Well, boys, as it happens, we do have something different this time. We're going to be viewing a video titled The Burning Hell by a fundamentalist named Estes Perkel. And it's so long we'll have to do this in multiple sittings. What's an Estes Perkel? Weird, it sounds like some kind of Yugoslavian automobile. <laughs> no, boys, Estes Perkel was a Baptist minister who made evangelistic films. This one we'll be seeing presented his view of hell as a place of fiery torture. So, it's like Jack Chick on steroids? You got it, Tim. On second thought, got anything by Brett Strong we can watch? <laughs> no, sorry guys. Let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Hey, cool, they're opening with the Osmond family barbecue. That says Ormond, not Osmond. Oh, yeah, right. Five minutes later, each of these people had an arrest warrant for crappy acting. These credits remind me of that story of Moses. They're on fire, but they don't burn up. The message of this film is terrifying. When you go to hell, you're forced to dress like this all the time. Pontius pilot? Did he fly airplanes or something? Yeah, and didn't Benny Hall have some kind of comedy show in England? Do you realize all these people are probably dead by now? I would be too after being featured in this film. Man, these credits go on forever. Bad news, too. They're the best part of the whole film. The Hell Song? They ever teach you that one at Sunday school? Oh, no, but I remember making paper dolls of people writhing in agony. Oh, man, check out the weird hairdos. Did people really go in for those styles? Only in Hell, Raven. Right now, I'd give anything to hear these kids break out in a chorus of It's Wah Wah World. Is that lady with the Secret Service? All hail the cult leader, Perko! 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 Woohoo! The Bible. Hey, look, it's Colonel Sander. Hey, maybe we'll get some hellfire roasted chicken. Teaches us of the fact of a hell. A hell of conscious eternal punishment. This film is conscious eternal punishment. I'm starting to miss the singing already. Is there a heaven? Then there must be a hell. The Bible talks to us about heaven. The Bible talks to us about hell. In Leviticus 11.22, the Bible talks to us about eating locusts and beetles. When's that sermon coming on? The torments of hell. To take the doctrine of hell out of our thinking. Out of our minds, too. Out of our preaching. Out of our education. To take away the physician and leave the disease. To take away the lighthouse and leave the hidden rocks on which the ships go down. To take away the vaccine. Man, this guy is just full of analogies today, to isn't he? the lamp. I'm getting hungry. Take away the mayonnaise and leave in the mustard. It's an awful reality. All hail the cult leader. Perko! 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 Here at Mount Sinai, it was here many, many years ago that Moses climbed this mountain. We could Yeah, sure, and George Washington God slept here too. That's not Mount Sinai, it's the Martian desert. deals with another aspect of this area. But first, let me read my text. 
In Matthew 10, 28, Jesus said, And fear not them which kill the body, but after this that, performance sure kills a body. Do, yeah, I think mine just ascended. to destroy both soul and body in hell fire. What a sobering thought. Jesus was talking about a place called hell, and it was in an expanse like this that we see... For Hear that, boys? Time, Hell's got a lot of rocks in it. Being so I guess it's not hell, hell for rat collectors. Now, come on, it's more than four minutes in, and we're still not done with the credits. Yeah, it looks kind of like my backyard during the summer. I'll bet the camel is the best trained actor in this flick. Probably the most theologically trained, too. In number 16, 16... I don't know, it looks like a bunch of leftovers from Ben-Hur. ...in the Bible, we read and experience about people going to hell. As the people of Israel Seems like there are only about 50 or so Israelites, and they're all a bunch of white guys. Three of Israel's most powerful leaders, Korah, Dathan, and Abiram, rebelled against God's appointed leaders, Moses, and... Hey, the wind machine is only working on the lower part of the set. ...against man, but against God. And Moses warned them God would show them who was his. Moses, you take too much upon yourself. Your holy. Hey, what the? Cool, sounds like Roscoe P. Coltrane. Oh no, it's God from Dark Matter 2525's videos. If the Lord grows him a real beard to take the place of that paste job, that would be a miracle. Or if these then be visited after the visitation of all men. Whoop, that wind machine is on again, off again. What if the Lord? Make a new thing. And Maybe the Lord should have been managing the wind machine. You can hear it, but nothing's moving. Then shall you know that these men have repelled and that these men have provoked the Lord. Ravings of a madman. Such rantings always imply that he's the only one. Go, go, go. God them dukes, them dukes. I say if you're going to do something to it now. Whoa! Uh -oh, someone set off some cheap sound effects. Hey, wait, no, that's the Jiffy Pop going off. Check it out, there's a 4.5 earthquake and the camels don't even notice. Oh boy, there's a lawsuit. Someone should have put signs out. Ground liable to crack open in divine judgment. Wait a second, did he say this was about hell? So even poorly made tents will go to hell. Does that shock you? Sure does well, shock sure. me. That was some of the worst so dramatic performance I've seen since this The Bible tells us about, and the Bible is the Word of God. But perhaps you're saying, Preacher, why a picture on hell? Heck yeah, well, I'm asking why any picture by this guy at this point. Preachers who are telling their congregations that hell is simply here on earth when the Bible... Watching this video, I can believe hell is on earth. It was some months back when I was preparing a sermon. In fact, my subject was hell. My wife had let two young men in to see me. I had no idea what they wanted. And they From the looks no of them, they wanted a, a spot on the Brady Bunch. Good morning, gentlemen. I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. Please be That's seated. okay. We've only been in here for about six weeks or so. Yeah, we got hungry and ate all your Matthew Henry commentaries. Gentlemen, I'm certain you had something special on your mind this fine Sunday morning. What is it you want to talk with me about? Like, man, we come to talk Yeah, can we get a part Jesus. in your next film? Good. Then you fellas are out witnessing for the Lord. Witnessing? I ain't having no witnessing. Uh, we don't quite understand. He thought she said witlessly, not witnessing. Jesus, so that they won't have to go to hell. Hmm. Well, mm, trial by stone. Actually, what we had in mind was a discussion with you about prophecy, about coming events, according to this book. Well, we have a what church barbecue on Thursday. Book. He's an expert, you know. Listen, if you fellas came to talk about prophecy, why don't you just stick to the Bible? 
Yeah, man, forget all that scholarly stuff. It's only good for laughs. Like our church is new, you dig? It's the new thing. In keeping with the trends of today's world, I can see that. Yeah, let me get you some books on personal hygiene to study. This Bible talks about a literal hell where sinners burn forever and forever. What do you fellas think about that? I think you could use some lessons on honor and shame, Dr. Pickle. God would never condemn hey, be respectful. That's Perkle, hell. not Pickle. Then why did he say that he would in the Bible? Oh, hail the cult leader. Perkle, 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 Perkle. Well, boys, we're about a quarter through this thing. What do you say? Oh, for pity's sake, Joe, this is enough to make me want to watch something by a funny atheist. Yeah, come on. I don't know which is worse, the hyper little readings of scripture or the corny production values. Mm, that is a tough choice. But we still have about 45 minutes before we can decide. See you next time. <laughs>